Good morning, Flats Class fans. Captain CA here. Many of you are new to the channel and you're trying to up your artificial game. Well, I've got a, a handy little tip that I'm going to share with you. And it's what five beginner inshore lures will give you the best chance for success? Can you think of them? Well, I'm headed over to the shop right now. We're going to talk about them. Let's go. Let's review for just a second. I said that I wanted to talk or share with you five lures that are perfect for beginning inshore fishermen. Uh, if you're a beginner, you're naturally going to want a bait or a lure that's going to give you a ton of success. And to do that, this is going to have to be a lure that not only covers a lot of water, but also is appealing to fish in a lot of different water clarities. Uh, cloud cover situations, no cloud cover situations, uh, breezy days, calm days. So it, it's got to be very versatile. And I think a lot of the veteran anglers that will watch this video will say, well, two or three of those are my go-tos. Of course they are. Uh, but they can be go-tos for those just starting to get into the game. Maybe you've been that guy that have been fishing with shrimp and pinfish and cut bait for a long time, but you're kind of getting you know, bored with it. You want to try something else and have a little bit more success. Or you're a kayak angler and you can't take natural bait. You need this type of advice. Well, for me, I'm always thinking what five baits, if I were going to take someone brand new fishing, that I feel will give them the best chance. At number five, it would be a spoon. Now, it does not have to be a gold spoon. It can be any spoon. Now, the brand that I'm affiliated with and been associated with for over two decades is AquaDream. I feel like they make a variety of spoon colors and weights that give me options. So I can use gold, I can use chrome, I can use white, pink, black, you name it. They've got skin colors um, that match fish, like pilchard colors and pinfish colors. So they really have everything that I need. Uh, and I've trusted this brand for a long time. But at number five, this would be, for beginners, a, a top five bait that you got to consider. And honestly, with all of you, this would make my top seven or eight baits all the time, period, even for veteran anglers. What's number four? That next. All right. Number four is actually a simple jig. That's it. A very simple jig. Now, what is the real definition of a jig? Well, in my era, it was a bucktail jig. Okay. And we used to tie these all the time, or we commercially buy them from brands like Hank Browns and, and, and Adams and, and a, everything, every company you could think of, especially if you were a South Floridian, jigs were a super confidence bait. There was all kinds of colors that you could choose from. Uh, they cast very well because they're head weighted and you could change the head style to, to dart more or bounce on the bottom, almost like a football jig or a boxing glove jig, hop it, drag it. There's so many retrieve styles that give this bait versatility, but the number one way to work it is just cast it out and reel it back and it catches fish. It catches mackerel. It catches snook. It catches redfish in the darker colors. It catches all those. Later on, there were some brands like Bugs Fishing and eat, like this particular one right here is, is one of my favorites for sight fishing. It's nice and light and compact and has a has some beautiful colors in this particular Ned bug. But even the Beastie bug and some of the other 
um, colors that he ties up are not only good for redfish, but they're good for trout. They're good for flounder. Uh, and he's even got some really nice colors that if you're a bonefish uh, angler, you would throw them for that. But it's, it's the jig itself that I would say because of all the different water depths that you could work these baits in from shallow to deep and the way that you can swim it, hop it, drag it, the versatility has to make it a top five bait. It would definitely come in number four for me. Now, many of you are marketed for these unbelievably realistic hard baits and soft baits and all these fancy baits. But I'm telling you, when it comes right down to it, it's really hard to beat that. That's why I ranked it higher than the spoon. Okay. So now you've got the spoon and you've got the jig. What's number three? Number three for beginner anglers. Well, this is, is more than a lure. It's a system. So when I first started uh, fishing as a young angler, uh, one of the things I was introduced probably early, early on was the pop and cork or clacker cork. And these types of of corks really deliver a sound that will pull a fish from 15, 20, sometimes 30 feet away, depending on water clarity. And it will pull fish that might be in six or eight feet of water to come look or investigate. And then they see the trailing plastic, which can be a jerk shad, a paddle tail, or what I feel is the best is a shrimp imitator. Like this one is a Z-Man easy shrimp in the natural color, but there's so much versatility with having a float and jig combo that it would be hard to argue that for those first coming through the inshore game, if, if you pass this off as, oh, well, that's, you know, yeah, that's, that's not really, that's kind of, yeah, campy, doesn't work. Let me tell you, as a professional red fisherman, I lost to another team that was doing this, and I came in second in a championship. They were popping cork fishing, and I was sight fishing, picking the ones I wanted. But they went through so many more fish than I could go through that my team lost. We came in runner up. So, I will tell you, I have a lot of respect for the old popping cork being at number three. Number two coming right at you. Number two, you know, when you start ranking these, you got to still remember or keep in mind I'm talking to folks that are just getting into the game. So, many of you are like, well, what would number two be? probably a jerk shad, probably a mirrodine, probably something like that. But those require, those types of lures require a certain amount of depth control and articulation or manipulation of the lure to make them more effective. And a beginner may not understand that skill yet. So what is a simple hard bait lure that everyone can use? And it delivers. It'll allow you to catch speckled trout redfish, snook, what would that be? Well, I can tell you with a lot of confidence, it would be a popper style hard bait, a surface walker. Now, you do not have to manipulate this so that it walks the dog. It'd be great if you could, but people just getting into the game, they don't understand jumping slack and gear ratios and, and things like that. All they want to do is catch a damn fish. So if you pop, 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 and let this rest, pop, pop, rest, reel it a little bit, pop, bam, it'll get hit. So a popper bait, a cup-based popper bait, like the Mirror Papa mullet, or even the Mirror Papa dog, these spitting chugger style baits are not a lot different 
that popping that cork and catching the fish on a trailing bait. Because how many of you have popped corks and a redfish come up and hit the cork? Well, the same idea applies for a, a popping or a chug style topwater. I would say if I'm fishing brand new clients, just getting excited about, oh man, I used to bass fish a little bit and this, that, and the other thing, but I really want to get good at saltwater fishing, give them a chug bait and they're going to catch fish. So what's number one? A lot of you are saying this, you knew it, the swim bait. The swim baits, the paddle tails, if you will, are so versatile and so consistent on catching fish. And there's so many ways to rig them. Head-weighted Texas rig, open jig head, uh, different lengths, different profiles, bass rigging hook. This is the chin locks with a belly weight. Even the three inch minnow you know, on a regular headlocks uh, jig. There's so many different ways. Some of them are integrated with uh, weight systems like the Hercules Minnow and, and bigger. If you master the simple swim bait, the simple swim bait, you will catch more fish day in and day out. Doesn't matter whether you're a beginner or a veteran. Either group are going to be immensely successful in inshore fishing and you adjust how you weight the lure to fish whether you're fishing a foot and a half two foot of water or if you're fishing six or eight feet of water and using a much larger swim bait so much you can do with a swim bait um, for me personally i would say that is one in both categories not only the beginner category but it's definitely number one in my opinion in in the seasoned angler who enjoys inshore fishing. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial on beginner baits, top five beginner baits. Uh, you can buy all of this product at sodiumusa.com. Go to sodiumusa.com. They're the online retailer that has a relationship with Flats Class and a lot of our custom lures and colors are right there for you to buy. And if you enjoy how I go about teaching all of you this type of information, give me the thumbs up and smash, I mean smash that subscribe button. This channel could be so much better if I have more of you in my classroom. All right, I've got to get ready to get on the road to Charleston. So one of my next videos is going to be a road trip to the Shallow Water Expo. So hopefully a lot of you guys will tune in. Till then. I'm out of here.